Recall, that by the original agreement on the number of labors to perform, Heracles had completed his ten labors. But because the slaying of the Hydra, and the cleaning of the Augean stables, had been discounted by Eurystheus, he was to perform two more tasks. So Eurystheus assigned Heracles, to fetch three of the golden apples of the Hesperides, as his next task. The Hesperides were the nymph daughters of the Titan, Atlas, who resided in a beautiful garden, and tended to the golden apples of the garden. In that garden, was a fearsome, many-headed dragon, called Laden, an offspring of Echidna and Typhon, which protected the nymphs, and ensured the apples were never stolen. Learning that only the old man of the sea, Nerus, knew the location of the garden, the hero traveled to Illyria, where he trapped the sea deity, and made him show him how to get there. Shortly into his journey, he was attacked by a half-giant, named Antaeus, who, as long as he touched Gaia the earth, could not be killed. Heracles killed this giant, by holding him above the ground, and crushing him in a bear hug. Then he met Busiris, son of Poseidon, who wanted to use him as a human sacrifice to the Earthshaker, his father. Heracles easily killed Busiris, and continued on his way. He got to the rock where the titan Prometheus was bound for eternity by Zeus, and tormented by the Caucasian eagle, which fed daily on his ever-regenerating liver, as punishment for stealing fire from the gods, to give to humans. Prometheus had already endured this suffering for thirty years, and just as the eagle came to feed, Heracles shot it dead, and freed the titan. In gratitude, Prometheus advised Heracles on how to proceed on his task, that he must persuade Atlas, the titan who held up the heavens, to get them for him, for only he, could peacefully retrieve the golden apples from his daughters, and their guardian dragon. Atlas agreed to fetch the apples, while Heracles temporarily took his place, carrying the heavens, till he returned. However, when the titan returned, he refused to take back the heavens, offering to deliver the apples himself, while Heracles forever remained in his place. Here and again, Heracles had to employ his wits. He pretended to agree to Atlas' demands, and cleverly asked him to hold the heavy load for a few seconds, so he could adjust his clothing, and put a padding on his shoulders, since he would be forever carrying something so heavy. Atlas foolishly took back the heavens, thinking it would be for a while, but Heracles snatched the apples instead, and ran off. In another version of the story, Heracles did not ask for Atlas' help. He went straight to the garden of the Hesperides, where he killed Laden the dragon, and took the apples. Whichever story version it is, he successfully delivered the golden apples to Eurystheus, ready for his final task.